Oh my God. Wow. You guys, I seriously feel like I'm about to cry. Same. So, we like? We love. I, uh, I don't have words. Wow. Dad doesn't have words. That's a good sign. Yeah. It's classic. It's timeless. It's, it's beautiful and it doesn't work. What? How, how, how do those things not work? I don't like the pocket squares. Oh. That was a clip from the latest season of 911 Lone Star. And two of the stars join us today. Yes, please welcome Ronan Rubenstein and Rafael Silva to the show. Hello, fellas. Congratulations, gentlemen, on the show and going another season. For those who may not be familiar, tell us about the characters you play. Sure, absolutely. I play Officer Carlos Reyes. Uh, he is a uh, police officer in 911 Lone Star in a firefighter show. He's the only police officer. Um, he happens to be a queer man from the Latina community. Okay. Ronan? I play TK Strand. Uh, we first meet him as a firefighter in New York. Then uh, him and Daddy Lowe um, <laughs> moved to Austin to uh, bring up a new firehouse. And now TK is a paramedic and newly husband to Carlos Reyes. Oh. Yeah. Now, fans love y'all so much in this connection. What is your nickname they've given you? Tarlos. 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 Yes. And Hashtag this Tarlos. Is great. Yes. And what can fans expect coming up with the finale here? The big wedding. The big yeah. wedding. The big is it going to happen? A hundred percent. Absolutely. Happen. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, you know, we have brilliant writers. We have our, the head, you know, Tim Minear and Rashad Raisani, the Tim is our showrunner, so he leads the writer's room. And, uh, you know, we've, they've really made sure after season one, two, three, and four, and still up until the last second, uh, he's making sure that we're all going to earn this wedding. Mm -hmm. And we earn it right up, right up on, until the last moment. Um, and so there is some bitter sweetness behind yeah. it. Um, and, yeah. But it's going to be a beautiful wedding. And, yeah. Rooney, you, you play Rob Lowe's son. Great That's casting, because I can totally see the Thank whole you. deal. So <laughs> how, how was that when you um, uh, had a, a final casting with him? I'm sure there was a reading and with, and with Rob. And yep. Obviously, you have to have a physical similarity to him. Yeah. But how was Rob with you? And talk, tell me about that process. The very first time we met was in the chemistry read. And as I go to shake his hand, he looks me dead in the eyes and he says, Yep, I see it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And he said from that moment, he knew immediately. Um, so it, it just sort of sparked. Gives you a lot of confidence first. going into your reading. <laughs> a lot of confidence, but also, you know, pretty nerve-wracking. Um, but, you know, I've, I've, he's become a mentor, not just a, a, a co-worker. And, you know, he plays my father on the show. And it's been a, an incredible journey, you know, what we went through, especially the first time you meet these two in New York. It's, it, was, it was a heavy intro to these two characters. And now, full circle, he's my best man at the wedding. Um, it's a really special journey we've been on. Growing nice. up, did people tell you you looked like Rob Lowe? Like, did you hear it before this <laughs> casting? <laughs> so, quick, funny story, but I, I shot a pilot right before Lone Star, and it was, uh, it was uh, based off Less Than Zero, the film. Yeah. Ah. And my whole style inspo for that show was Rob Lowe in the 80s. So, everywhere in the wardrobe department, hair and makeup department, I would see his face. Oh. That's so From funny. the 80s. So you and manifested then, this. You manifested <laughs> You went Billy Hicks style. Something yeah. happened. But, and then Did a you get months, his wig in the 80s? Because he had the feather like the other. Oh, he had. <laughs> that was next level. He right had there. the best hair. But a couple months later, I'm, I'm playing his son. It was, it was meant to be, I guess. Yeah. And Raphael, yeah. big deal for you. You're home watching Jeopardy. Please yeah. tell me you saw it live. Oh, when you God. were an answer or question in Jeopardy, what did that mean to you? No, I mean, I, I was actually shooting, and I was sitting with one of our executive producers and also main director for 911 Lone Star, Brad Beaker. And, uh, and all of a sudden, he just reaches over with the phone, and, you know, he shows me the picture that Tim, uh, our showrunner, sent to him. I'm like, oh, it's, it's a nice joke. This is, like, who created that? He's like, no, this was on Jeopardy. <laughs> I was like, me, Jeopardy? I was, he's like, yeah. And yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's so right there, tough on uh, the streets of Austin. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, since you uh, gentlemen both play first responders on the show, we want to okay. read you some 911 calls. And some of them are made up, and some of them are, are very real. Oh, we got a okay. sound. Shockingly yeah. as they sound. Look at that. I think you have a paddle over there. All right, so, think so. so you okay. boys have to decide which is a real call and which real is call. not at all. Okay. 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 All right. I'll kick it off here. 911 oh. call number one. 
A hair salon called 911 saying that a male customer refused to leave their salon because he hated his haircut <laughs> and didn't want to be seen in public. Real call or not at all? I believe that. By the way, ding, 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 it's a real call. <laughs> Come on. If, I think that might have been me because I'm very specific with my hair, okay? <laughs> Both I'm, you guys got great going yeah, on. Yeah, so yeah, we try. We try. There yeah. you go. Yeah. All right, how about me. this? 911. Oh, here we go. There's your call. A man called 911 saying he got stuck in a dangerously tight Under Armour shirt <laughs> and needed help getting out. Been real there. call or not call? <laughs> Might be By the way, you are correct. A real call, wow. At this point, anything's possible. Wow. Wait, <laughs> how tight are the Under Armour shirts? Yeah, so sometimes you need help to, like, at least give it to my hand. Give it to my hand on the yep. back right there. Yep. Get started. Yep. Uh, all right, 911 call number three. There it is. A woman called 911 from a public bathroom claiming the bathroom was putting her health at risk because the sink had no more hand soap. Real call or not at all? Oh, Ooh, those public bathrooms. I, I believe in America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not at all, boys. That's oh. a little. That's not at all. That's a little. Not like the other ones weren't wild. But. <laughs> yeah. All right. All how right. about this one? Call. A neighbor called 911 after mistaking a parrot for a woman screaming, "Let me out!" Real call or not? Those I'm, parrots I'm sound real. Because we we actually deal with a parrot on our show. His name's Ginsburg. 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 I'll, I'll go real call, too. And you are correct. Wow. That really happened. Yeah, it probably was Ginsburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. It, that, probably. It might have been Ginsburg who was there. Uh, Final uh, one. 911 call. A woman in Ohio called 911 five times in one hour, demanding that the dispatch operator find her a husband. <laughs> real call or night at all? Not find her husband, find her a husband. I, I hope that's real. <laughs> I, me too. I hope that's real, but I'm going to say not at all. It's real. It's real. <laughs> I thought I read it wrong. Like, to find your husband. Find a husband. Find a husband. Find a husband. you got to incorporate that into the storyline somehow. Yeah, so yeah we have that crazy that that is And kick up Ginsburg. Get that parrot talking a little more. Thanks for uh, coming and hanging out, guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you can catch the season finale of 911 Lone Star tonight at 8 on Fox. Coming up, we're showing you our favorite animals of the week. It's our Majestic Beast edition. Get ready for that. That's so great. Did you get that lesson?